Oh. Oh my gosh, why did that happen? <laughs> Here at the junkyard today, harvesting some parts for the Ranger. It's a Mazda, but it's close enough. We're still in the front clip, basically all the front clip. Make that thing go, and then I'll build a bumper for it. Parts from the junkyard. So I forgot to tell you what's going on with this truck. It's my coworker's truck, and I'm working on it for him, and he's gonna give me an XJ in return for fixing this thing. So it's a little two-door, 80 something xj i don't know we got some good plans for it i just swapped the front fenders out the other ones weren't the right fenders they didn't line up i don't know who or what tried to fix this truck but it wasn't me we're just getting the front clip all done on it then we're going to build a front bumper for it should be great all right we got the uh, front clip on the ranger and now we're going to deal with a bumper we're just uh, in the designing process in my brain right now how I want it to look. He wants to put a winch on it. So I gotta give enough space for a winch to set in here. And this was the easy part, just bolt stuff on. So now we're gonna do a little design and build it. All right, all the junk's off the front. I gotta trim it flush and put figure out some way to mount it. And then I can start building. All right, so we're gonna try to cut this frame level. Nasty stuff that's in there. We'll cut this other side off. Alright, frame's level. This is pretty easy built. I was gonna use this and I may use this, but it's not attached where the crap, so I'm gonna have to put probably a piece of quarter inch to bolt my bumper to. And then I can use this hole and that hole. And probably bolt those holes and two out here i'll hold the bumper on that's what i'll try to do get that in down there dude got it buddy okay set it right on that hey right over there set there you go good job that's gonna be Pretty close, right there. Wish I had a grill to make it match a little. But. Okay, that's what it is. Now I just gotta do a whole bunch of cutting and grinding and bending. I gotta make it match the curve of that and come back to back behind the fender. This truck's bent everywhere. It's gonna be hard to get the bumper level and like all the gaps filled up. Looking at the bottom of it, the radiator supports like twisted and pushed back on one side. So it's gonna be hard to make it look right, but we'll get it. We gotta decide what kind of a bumper we want to look like. Do we want it smooth and round or do we want it to look like cut and bent? What do you think, Gray? Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth? It's way harder. All right. I'll help. Alright, if that smooths what you want, smooths what we're going to do. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll cut it to the right length and then we'll start shaping it. Now we got to put a plate right here in the middle for a winch to set on. And then we'll build a hoop bar. We got it lined out. We're going to cut those little pie shapes out of it right there and bend it in. I gotta shorten that in first though. We got pie shapes cut out. We're gonna bend those up now and tack weld them. Go test fit. Ooh, wow, it's tight. Go test fit it and see if we got the right angle. It's all uh, off the icrometer on the angling device here. <laughs> We estimated what we were going to need. Icrometer did not let me down. It's going to be perfect. Hey, there's that tape maker I was looking for a second ago. <laughs> Alright, we'll uh, stop this thing apart here. Maps 
stand on it. I don't know if I'm even fat now. Nope. Oh, I see why. Stand on a different way. <laughs> stand on that end there, camera Lando. Yeah, I guess we check it. We'll put this in there. Pack those, and then you can go test it. Up. All right. I broke it loose. Dang it! When it dropped, it broke that one loose. It sucks. I'll fix that. will probably take and taper it on some sort of an angle so that it comes back up and meets kind of the tire line on an angle and then that runs down to that angle there's gonna be a whole bunch of compound angles to deal with here shortly Almost looks like we knew what we were doing there, Lynn. Okay, we'll weld that up and then we'll deal with cutting angles and all that jazz. We're gonna cut an angle on this thing. We're gonna cut that line there, this one down here, and then put a piece of plate on it so it's got a slope to the bumper. All right, we got her trimmed. Now we'll cut a piece of four inch and put in there and give us a little angle. See what she's gonna look like. We're bending this filler piece to go around the top of this bumper. Do I know if it's gonna work? But it really should work. It's bending and it's not enough yet, but we're gonna go check it. I need to spread it out more, that's too much bend. We'll flatten it back out, fix that. Better. Not good. We got Grandpa Sherm here with us today. Spread it out a bunch. And need to go right there and right there. We're pretty close to final right there. All right, Grandpa, come look. Tell me what you think. See if that's better than the angle. I think it looks better than the angle piece. I got to tap that piece in right there. Oh, yeah. Maybe that just a little bit, but... Yeah, that looks good. So I had to cut some holes in these to access the screws for the headlight. That one's mostly built. Got to put a piece of cold roll right here to make that tough so it doesn't... It's not flimsy, but winning. Are you about to make it permanent? No. Oh my gosh, why did that happen? Jeez. Nervous little fella. I didn't know why that was lighting on fire. Was it lighting on fire? It was. It, was it a almost spark. It got me. All right, it's tack welded. It looks good. I think I'm gonna weld it in and make it permanent now. A row of dimes laid out. <laughs> All right, here's some finished product. Well, getting closer to finished product. I decided that this looked better than the angle in the top piece, so I'm gonna build a winch plate and we'll be done with this thing. All right, so we're to this point. Winch plate's going on. We got that side tacked up. That side's all welded in. And then we'll build a hoop on it. I'm in the shop by myself again. No one's around, just me. All right, so the bumper's pretty close now. Gotta weld that hoop in it, and the Ranger Danger is out of my shop. We're winning, that's not his winch, that was a mock-up winch from another project that's going on, so he can buy his own winch later. 
All right, we finished this thing. Hoops on it. He's on his way to pick it up and we'll get it out of the shop. He can finish putting all stuff he took off. The grill's in it. Bumper's done, turned out pretty fair. That's it. That'll eat some deer. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. It's way better for what I do than what was on it. What do you do? Hunt lines, <laughs> playing in the snow. Yep. Winch mount's all there. All you gotta do is buy your winch and hood latch works now. So it's not gonna come open and shouldn't. blind me. It shouldn't. The, the Danger Ranger's ready to go again. I need to uh, put one of these bumpers on her car. I know, so she can hey. stay away from the deer. <laughs>、yep, so、we'll <laughs> Hugged her across the road with the old Yankum. Now we're gonna pull it on down to the yard and we're, we'll store it for a while until I decide to work on it. She's a clean one owner. What year is this? I, I don't know, actually. It says 86. May of 86. She's gonna be good for what I'm gonna do in it. It's gonna be a full on rock crawler. I'm gonna tear the old Dakota apart, put motor, tranny, everything in it. So it'll be V8, 700R. It's hard to want to pull that old jewel out of there. All two point, what is it? Three or something? I don't know. 2.5 liters. <laughs> V8'll fit in there nicely. Might have to cut the firewall out a little and do some stuff. It'll fit. It doesn't have brakes. No, they're not no. great. Oh, nice. Beautiful e breaking. So, you know how I said the e brake works? Yeah, it works in one spot and that's all the way back. <laughs> you, you want one, these things are awesome, man. They're worth it. My mom's arm, man. It looks like a whole bunch.